another Nick No Banger. What's poppin' y'all? It's Ashley. If you're new, thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel um, and to my OG Water Dives. Thank you for coming back and rocking with me today. So today's gonna be a kind of get ready with me. And I wanted to start doing these because I noticed on my channel that my hair videos get way more attention than my makeup videos, which is a good thing. You know, I'm glad that I get the numbers on my makeup, I mean, on my hair videos, but I love makeup, so I'm never gonna stop doing it. So I thought I'd just incorporate both into one video. Let me know down below how you like it. Um, I don't know, I just want to try it, see how it works. Um, so we're gonna start off with my hair, we're gonna do something about this hair, and then we're gonna get to some makeup. I did purchase the Fenty Beauty Foundation after watching a million uh, reviews on it, so I'm just gonna give my thoughts on it later on when I do my makeup. But yeah, today's video is just a get ready with me. Not a chit chat, but it's just a get ready with me. So I might voice this over, or I might just talk you guys through my hair and then just play music through the makeup. I don't know yet, but we're gonna see. So, yeah, my hair right now is a hot mess. Um, I just co washed it two days ago, so it's not like disgusting or anything, it's just like a mess. So, I think I'm gonna wear, I think I'm just gonna wear a sleek ponytail. I'm gonna just, I'll probably just add some extensions to the back. Um, and my hair is already moisturized. I put some product in yesterday, I put some in today too. I moisturize my hair every day since it's low porosity. I have low porosity. If you guys haven't seen my low porosity video, I'll put it right here. I'll be right here. Just click it. Watch it. Um, and yeah, so. So I had my hair in a sleek ponytail a couple days ago. So, and I did add gel to it. But, I, like, usually when I do these ponytails, I add, like, I do gel and then I'll add my got to be free spray but that makes my hair super hard and I can't manipulate it anymore after that I have to just wash it but since I just co-washed it I was like I'm not putting none of that spray in my hair I'm not doing it to myself so like my hair reverted back it's not flaking or anything and it did have gel in it so um what I'm going to start off first well I already detangled it with this brush you guys know if you see my little porosity video I use this brush to like just to detangle my hair so the brush goes right there my hair is dry it's not wet so just gonna go right through it again. So first, I only have these ponytails, which I don't like. I got these from the Dollar Tree and they suck, but that's all I have right now. So I'm just gonna take the um, ponytail. I'm just gonna make a ponytail real quick. Sorry if you see me looking down my mirrors all the way down here, so I'm just gonna put that back. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my Eco Style Gel. This is the olive oil one. And I'm just gonna apply it to my edges. Actually, I'm not gonna apply it to just my edges. I apply it to like the whole, on like my whole head that's not inside the ponytail. And I'm gonna take this brush. This is um, a sleek brush. It's just like a hard bristle brush. I'm just gonna lay the edges down. Now I'll take my ponytail out so I can like form the ponytail into exactly how I want it. So that should be fine. That's not my best ponytail. I'll just go back and lay my hair down with some more gel. It's not laying down. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a bump back here that I, ugh, this is why it's so hard for me. Sorry, my lighting is changing because I'm like all over the place. It's hard for me to get it to lay completely down. So I'm 
gonna get a bobby pin and try to push that down a little bit. That lays it down a little bit. Mm, it's all right. It's not like perfect or anything. Now, I'm just gonna take this toothbrush and like just lay my edges. I kind of like to wave them. So I'll just take some more gel. Push it down and wave it. I have two ponytails. I have this long drawstring ponytail, but as you guys can see, it's like a light brown, and my hair is not light brown. It doesn't match it, and I didn't. I thought it would match when I got it, but it doesn't. I mean, sometimes I still wear it because I don't care. But um, it's really pretty, really pretty, and it's a synthetic one. I got it from the B Supply. Super pretty. I think this is by Outre. I have a picture on Instagram with it, but anyways, I would wear it because it's super long. Like it's hella long. All this. This is this. This is the bottom. <laughs> it's this long. Like, oh, if I put this back here, I should be hanging. But um, it doesn't match my hair color, so I'm not gonna wear it today. I have this other wig, and I have a video on this wig. I used this to do like a half up, half down ponytail. And it has like highlights in it, but it's dark like my hair, so um, it's actually a full, uh, it's a half wig, but it's like a full wig. Like you put on your head if you want. But it also is, has a drawstring, so you can use it as a drawstring. It's super old, so I don't really wear it at all. But I've been wearing it like a ponytail, so I'm just gonna um, slap it on real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna just brush the ponytail with my brush first, just to make sure it's like not like, ratty looking and synthetic looking. So I'm just gonna, it's not tightened up at all, I'm just gonna um, attach this to my, the back of my ponytail. The combs in. Then I'm gonna take the drawstring and tighten it. And I'm gonna wrap this around. To secure it. And then I'm going to take a piece of hair from the back. I'm going to wrap it around to hide the combs. I think it looks better on me because I'm not used to having my big ponytails. I've worn this in a higher up ponytail, but it's like different up here. But anyways, I'm going to take this scarf, it's a silk scarf. You can get these at Walmart with Bee Supply. And I'm just gonna um, lay it on my edges so that my edges can get, they can like lay down and sit.
minutes off camera. I finished my eyeliner off camera because my camera cut off. And I only have 15 more minutes left on my SD card. So I'm going to just do my foundation quick and talk to you guys about it. But first, I need to prime. I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Pro Shade Balm. I haven't used this in forever, but it's really good. I'm gonna take my Milani primer, the Prime Shield, and this is really good for like filling in the pores. I'm just gonna put that in my T zone. And then I want to add this spray. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It says that it's primer corrector and it's used to set so I'm going to just spray my face with it. Um, I don't want to miss my eyeshadow. So I got the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I got it in the shade 460. They did not have 450. They're sold out at the Sephora in my area. They're sold out on Sephora.com and they're also sold out on FentyBeauty.com. So this one is a little bit too dark. But it does have that red undertone that I have, so I was like, this probably will work better than anything else. And I've been mixing it with my Ruby Kisses foundation. This is in Cognac. So I'm just gonna squirt this in the back of my hand. I need like two clumps of Fenty. So I'm using my um, Cosmo Beauty F200 to apply this. this Brush is bomb. This is the only thing I bought from Fenty Beauty. Um, by the way, only the foundation. Um, so it looks really red, and it smells so good. I don't know. It smells like kind of like vanilla. I don't know. But it smells really good. Um, what I will say about this foundation is I love the finish. It's like it dries down. Like when I swatched at Sephora. Um, on the back of my hand. And like it dried and I could touch my hand and there was like barely any transfer. Like it dried down really nice. Um, so I was like, yeah, I have to have this. Um, it's just really nice. It has like a medium coverage, I would say. And I don't mind it being too red. Like when I look for a foundation, I want it to have my undertone, which it does. I am of a warmer undertone. Although this shade was called 460 Cool, um, I didn't think that red was cool, but I guess it is a cool shade. The um, 450 was a little bit more on the orange yellow side, but I'm not orange or yellow, but it did match me really nice. They just don't have it. So, um, like right now, it's drying down already and it feels comfortable, like you don't feel it on your face. You feel like you're not makeup. Like sometimes I'll be like almost wipe my face, I'm like, oh shit, girl, you got makeup on, oh, chill out. I really like it. Um, but like I was saying, even though it's red and it's a little bit darker on me, let me zoom out so you guys can see. So it's a little bit darker on me. Sorry, I can see my little pegboard back here. But um, it is a little bit darker on me, but when I add my concealer, it balances it out. Like I have never looked so close to my own skin tone when wearing a foundation. And I do have to mix it with something, but still, like, that foundation is affordable, so I would repurchase this, um, foundation, um, because it, like, matches me really well, and the formula is great, so, that's what I've been wearing. Let's see back here. My camera's about to die, so I did want to just tell you guys that on camera, I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my face, and then come back and give y'all some slow-mo action. Okay guys, so I finished my face off camera. As you can see, it looks freaking awesome. That's really good. Um, I do have glitter all over my face though, because one of my brushes had glitter on it and I didn't know, and I can't get it off. So I'm gonna do my under eyes really, really fast. I'm just gonna take um, this brown and this brown. I'm gonna put it under my eyes real quick. so I'm talking kind of quiet because my kids are sleeping behind my lights right now um, 
it has been 10 hours that I've been wearing this foundation, so it still looks pretty good. I've not touched up, blotted, any of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more lipstick on, because you guys get to see that. Um, I'm gonna put on this brown lip liner. This is. The name is rubbed off. I think this is Ruby Kisses. It's just a dark brown lip liner. Okay, so like I was saying, I put this foundation on about 1 o'clock, I want to say, and I was finished with my makeup about 2. So, I think I put this foundation on about 1, and I have not touched up, blotted, nothing. Um, what I will say is, it is creasing a little bit here, but you, you can't see from right here, at least I don't think you can. If I zoom in, you can see it a little bit. If I'm focus, just creasing just a tiny bit, and I'm okay with that because most foundations crease so badly in my smile lines, it's ridiculous. So, I love the foundation, and what I have not been able to get from any foundation ever is to look like my skin tone. Like, I feel like I always look too bright when I wear a foundation. Like, I feel like I have to wear like a turtleneck to make so people can see like, oh, her foundation do not match. But I can be like, oh, bitch, it matches, okay, it matches. But yeah, I didn't get to finish doing everything on camera with you guys because my battery, no, my battery was not dead. I I can I only have one SD card right now and it was full, so I had to clear it off earlier and so now I do have memory, but um, I really just wanted to talk about the foundation with you guys and I did get to do the eye look with you on camera so that's all I really wanted to do. If you guys want a full foundation routine, um, let me know down below in the comments and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, but yeah, hope that you guys liked this get ready with me hair and makeup. If you did, please smash that like button and comment down below. We can chat down there. I love talking to you guys. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything, but I don't know. I'm tired. It's like damn near 12 a.m. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Why is she saying that? No, 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 I don't want them anywhere near here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I've been laughing my ass off. <laughs> Is it the same lady? Yeah. <laughs> to remind you, we never, ever think about holographics. Is in class no holographics. No holographics. Oh my god, she sounds psycho. He said, I'm not sober. Do you have to be a psycho? <laughs> she needs a psycho evaluation. <laughs>